Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on techfleece.com. Okay, this time we're going to uh, look at the host file in Windows 7 and how we go about editing it. It's actually pretty simple, but you've got to remember that you have to run as administrator every time you do this. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go through via Notepad. So if you go down to your Start button at the bottom, and just type in Notepad, or just type Note, and it'll come up. Now right click on Notepad and select Run as Administrator up here. Select that, hit Yes when prompted, and you're opening up Notepad, but you are an elevated privilege. So go File, Open, and then Browse to your host file. So C, down to Windows, then down to System32, then down to drivers and then click on ETC now if you look down here it's looking for text documents only hence it's blank now if you go to all files then select hosts and then click open and you're presented with a basic host file now this is completely unedited so what we're going to do is block a site uh, and for a test site we're going to go with Facebook. So let's type in 127.0.0.1 space. And you can put space or tab, completely up to you. I'll go with space. And then go facebook.com. Now all you have to do is go file, save. Not save as, save. And that completely overwrites it. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's open up Chrome. And go to Facebook. Now, here's something you need to know about blocking Facebook um, in the host file. Basically, you need to put a www dot in front of it in the host file. I'll show you what I mean. Let's open up Facebook. Straight away, it opens. Click on my name. Opens again. So let's shut that. And figure out what went wrong. Go back into the host file, put the www dot in front of it, now go file, save, and now see what happens. Open up a new window again, try and click onto Facebook, straight away you get an error, and that's pretty much it. So there you go. Just double check that I've saved that. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, ask in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.